Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of All Things Gaming Presents Everything PlayStation Vita. Now that I have my hands on the PlayStation Vita, I'll be giving my full review on PDP's custom crystal case, which you can buy at GameStop for $20, Amazon for $20, sites like that. Now, this case is made out of a very solid plastic. If I try to bend it in my hands, I squeeze it, it feels very solid. It's not going to break. And on top of that, it does come with a two-year warranty, which is very nice. If you damage your case at all, if the plastic does chip, if you drop it, or if the hinge snaps for some reason, you can use the warranty, get a, get a brand new case. The insides of the case are made of a rubberized material. Take one out for a second. They're a rubberized material with slots for the analog sticks. They're very flexible and also very thick. I feel like if you dropped your PlayStation Vita from a short distance or for day-to-day -day travel, it would do a great job of protecting it. I definitely feel comfortable using this as a case. I am not worried about it taking any damage for being a not enough cushioned case or just a complete hard case. Now the bottom of the case has slots for your Vita games and your Vita memory cards. Now there's no netting or anything, no bands holding them in. So originally I thought these cases, these cards would fall out. If I opened my Vita, took my Vita out, the cards would fall out. But that is not the case. Even while shaking the case rapidly, these cards are not coming out. And just to prove that they're not like glued down or anything, they just pop out that easily. They slip in that easily. And once you do that, they're in there for good. They're not coming out at all. So it's actually very nice. I do not like the cases with straps. I feel like this is very sleek and it grips your cards extremely well. In my previous video, when I talked about the case hinge issues, you saw that you could actually open the case just for, by pushing up on the top half, not pushing the button at all, it's right there. Just open the case right up, close it, open the case right up. So many people decided that this case would not be a good choice for the PlayStation Vita, So because if you dropped it, the case could pop open and ex shoot your Vita out into the ground, the cement, the kitchen floor, if you dropped it off a table or something like that. But now that I actually have my hands on the PlayStation Vita, I can tell you guys that this case actually does hold up very well with the PlayStation Vita in it. The reason why the case popped open before was because this top part could actually move up a tiny bit. It's actually this entire top half that's pop that's moving up and surpassing that tiny latch right there. But when you actually have your PlayStation Vita in the case, the top of the PlayStation Vita does stick out quite a bit. And when it's latched shut, it prevents the top case from moving at all. So if you squeeze, try to push up, anything like that, no matter how hard you push, I'm pushing very hard. I, I did not pop open. I accidentally tapped the button right there. The case does not open up. So the actually PDP was actually very good with this case with the PlayStation Vita in it. If you drop it, it's not going to pop open and shoot your Vita out in the world. It's actually I'm liking this case a lot more. I was actually a little bit worried. I wasn't too concerned since it was just going to be thrown in my bag as I went. But I was worried about possibly my backpack started to rip along the side. What if it tore open, fell on the floor, and exploded? But now that I know this case will not pop open, I'm much more content carrying this around with me. I'll even, I don't know, I'm not too worried about it all right now popping open. So one of my favorite parts about this case, and if you've been following my videos or my blog, you can actually insert your own cutouts. These are custom made by me. You can check out my blog, nohans.blogspot.com or link below, and download these covers or backgrounds for your PlayStation Vita. And it comes with a few default ones, but I didn't like those, so I created my own. It was a little bit of work, but it is pretty easy once you get going. There's a bunch of my sites, so you don't have to create your own. But if you'd like to, I'm going to upload a video tutorial about how to create your own pretty soon. But until then, you can just use the ones on my site or ones possibly other sites. If other sites are doing that, you could download them from there too. But definitely check out my site. There are quite a few up there. And I really like that option because it does provide some customization to your covers. It's not just a pure black case. 
I think it looks a lot better. This is a gaming system and you can put game covers right on it. I do like that a lot. But right out of the bat, if you don't want to create your own, if you just don't use those, they could fulfill your needs, but right away they're not something that interests me. So the customization options out of the box are not good, but if you put forth the time, you can have a pretty neat case. So overall, I'm going to give this case four stars out of five. I'm giving it four stars because it is very sturdy. It's going to protect your PlayStation Vita. It grips onto your cards extremely well. It has great customization options if you put forth the effort, but the case, and it comes with two-year warranty, which is also fantastic, but the case is just plastic. It's very sturdy, though, but once again, it is just plastic. I don't know how much more you would expect from a case, but it is protecting a $250 piece of equipment, so I'm not going to give it a five stars out of five because five is a perfect score to me. This... I'm not going to give something a perfect score that could fault. This possibly could fault. It could break my PlayStation Vita if I drop them high enough. So not, it's not going to get a perfect score. I'm rarely ever going to give out perfect scores. Perfect scores means perfect. This is not perfect. Yet I have to create custom backgrounds. It does pop open with no PlayStation Vita in. And it could chip. It could break after the two years. So it is not perfect. So I'm going to give this case a 4 out of 5. I highly recommend it. Do not pay attention to the score just because it's a 4 out of 5. Do not think it's not fantastic. This is a fantastic case. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you learned something about the case. It is fantastic. Hope you can check it out if you're interested in buying the case. And check out my blog, nohans.blogspot.com. Make sure you like and subscribe, and always check back for more content. Thanks for watching, guys.